Seven U.S. students are currently in Barbados exploring the island's culture and gaining first-hand business experience from local entrepreneurs. The students are from Detroit, Michigan and are members of Atlantic Impact, a non-profit organization which seeks to empower urban youth to create change through recognizing how global and national historic events impact their communities and ultimately themselves. Program Director Samantha Kelly says they are pleased to have teamed up with the Caribbean Center of Excellence for Youth Entrepreneurship who helped to facilitate the trip. She also spoke to the Evening Edition about the goals of the organization. Atlantic Impact is a nonprofit that Detroit students are a part of, and they go through the program year. They first explore their own community to get to know uh, the city of Detroit better. And then once they kind of get a better understanding for their own community, they kind of then take it a step further to be able to branch out and visit another country to explore and immerse themselves within another culture, another country, another way of life, and that is Barbados. And so they got in about a week ago. And so they've been enjoying uh, different sights and sounds in Barbados, and we've been having a very good time here. You mentioned getting involved in the community, but you're also here, and they're also trailing entrepreneurs. Do you have a business focus within the program, trying to get them more career-oriented? Yes, definitely. You know, really, we want our students to be able to be well-rounded, to really flourish into just well-rounded individuals. Our two themes, you could say, are really history and entrepreneurship. And so they really explore the history of Detroit, and then they come to Barbados, explore the history of Barbados, and they really see the connection between the two countries, uh, specifically, you know, the legacy of the slave trade, to really see how we're all interconnected. So our other theme is entrepreneurship, and we're we're really happy to partner with the Caribbean Center of Excellence for Young Entrepreneurs as they have really helped us to develop that end of the program here in Barbados. So what happened here in Barbados was they first really explored the, the history here and then once they kind of got that backdrop for the history of in Barbados, they were then paired up. Each individual student was paired up with a young entrepreneur here in Barbados. So they had the opportunity to actually, you know, further immerse themselves in the culture here to speak with Barbadians and get to know, you know, how Barbadians run their business here and that sort of thing. And they shadowed local businesses. And then the idea also is for them to, you know, be inspired by stories they hear about how entrepreneurs here started their businesses to be able to take back home with them ideas of what to do. And we have actually already seen that start as we've had a few students already, you know, staying up late at night thinking about their little businesses of what they would do when they get back. And so we're really excited about, you know, the inspiration that Barbadians have really had. The most important part really is for them, once they leave Barbados, that it doesn't end here, for them to actually, when they return back to the United States, they carry forward what they've learned and make not only themselves better, but their community better. Ms. Kelly adds that the Barbados Carolina Legacy Foundation also played an integral part in the trip. One of the students on the tour is 17-year-old Kayla Porces. It is her first year with Atlanta Impact, and she says one of her favorite aspects of the program is touring and learning more about Detroit. Most people don't understand or don't know or care to know how great our city is and how much of an impact that is played on not only, you know, the U.S., but the entire world. We're known for cars and music, and, you know, we have a great history, and I feel like more people should know that. So I think that's one of the amazing things. And also, this program has caused me to open up and to expand my horizons and talk to more students inside of my school, and I just became an even more social person, so I think that really helped. This is your first time in Barbados or in the Caribbean. Yes. And how has the experience been for you? Just take me through some of the things you've done while you've been here, and what was it like for you? I actually love Barbados. I'm like so in love with everything about it, um, the culture, the food, of course, the people, the history, just everything about it. We went on a hike, and we toured the East Coast, and we did like a spiritual type of program and I just found inner peace here and it's so much different than you know the U.S. everything is a fast pace and here it's just so peaceful and everyone just has this real laid back chill attitude and I just love it here it gives me um, inner peace and just time to think and relax and it's just amazing here. 
project program, well, the trip here would have been shadowing an entrepreneur. Can you say who you worked with and what the experience was like? Yes, the experience with shadowing the entrepreneurs was amazing. I worked with Sasha Mapp, and she owns a private school, and I learned so much from her. She does everything, and most people just see the educational part of, you know, owning a private school or, you know, just owning a school in general. But there's such a business aspect to it. You know, she is a true, like, super she She's a hero. She's not only just the principal, but she teaches a class. She orders the lunches. She collects the money from the parents. She counts the money personally. She has a real hand-on experience with her staff, and, you know, all of the kids love her and respect her. They call her mom, and it just shows that, you know, there's greatness in Barbados, and I feel like the youth is really our future and our ticket out of, you know, the depression and everything because the economy is really bad. And by her working with the youth and just having a hand in that, they're going to do some great things. It's going to be so much greatness coming out of Barbados just from, you know, the education system and the youth. Kayla also has some advice for the youth here, encouraging them to join a community or national youth group. Some advice that I would tell them that it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be a walk through the park or, you know, a walk on the beach. It takes hard work, dedication, a good attitude, and great spirits. But it's so worth it to know that, you know, I had a hand in changing someone else's life for the greater. My whole model is that everything happens for a reason, and God puts us in a place to do great things. So I feel like helping out and being a part of the community, it really helps, and not only for a spiritual aspect, but mentally, you know, physically, you feel better. You feel like, you know, wow, I've changed someone's life. So I would say get involved, get active, be healthy, and just have fun. Meantime, 16-year-old Laurel Carr is also on the trip and talks about his experience with Atlantic Impact. My favorite is all the locations we get to see. That's not something that every kid gets to see. My age, like, you know, easily. One of my favorite activities we did was... I would say um, in Detroit, we went to a Fort Wayne, and it was just a fort, and we had like a little tour guide, and he like talked about the whole fort, and it was like very interesting. This is your first time in Barbados in the Caribbean? Yes. Um, what has the experience been like for you? The experience has been great. I've learned a lot about history in Barbados and the connections of Barbados and slavery in Barbados. You also had the business aspect where you trailed an entrepreneur. Who did you trail and what was the experience like for you? I trailed a plumber named Richard Thomas and the experience was unbelievable. He had like a lot of leadership skills and even though he was hard working, you never saw it. He um just always was happy and he had humor and he took me to a lot of places in Barbados. I basically got to see the whole east coast of Barbados and on the first day, he just showed me uh, what he'd do. I went to like five different construction sites, and he just was talking to a lot of people, getting everything straight, because he said without communication, they wouldn't be able to get the job done. Creative director of Mind Pro Studio Incorporated, Jared Williams, was one of the entrepreneurs who opened his doors to the students, and he says he is pleased to have been a part of the program. The company has been in existence for almost 10 years and offers design, printing, and web development services. My decision to work with the student from Atlanta Impact was just so that the student would be able to see what it is like being an entrepreneur for those couple of days. Not just to see the glamorous side, but to see that it's real, a, a lot of hard work and dedication that goes into any business, any company, or anything coming from one level to the next and trying to see some kind of level of success in the things that you do. So for me, I wanted that person, that student, to see the ins and outs of the business, you know, to see actually speaking to customers, whether positive or negative, dealing with money, the aspects of money, which is like collecting the money or, or giving prices, you know, the, the whole financial aspect of it, going to the bank, those, those type of things actually looking for customers and so on, as well as other parts of the life of the entrepreneur, family and so on, because I had my kids with me those two days as well. So they would have been able to see that kind of a balance between your regular life and work life and so on. Because the entrepreneur, I believe, is a, a person who has to find a balance or strike a balance with every area of your life as well as they possibly could. We basically have to kind of make our own success as opposed to rely on others. So in some instances, in some cases, 
it's a little bit more difficult, and we have to apply ourselves to situations differently. So I was hoping that the student would have been able to see and understand some of those things. Creative Director of Mind Pro Studio Incorporated, Jared Williams. And I'm Stacey Brathwaite for the Evening Edition.